This is diva position with the option for diva lifts or diva, diva presses. So she's going to immediately rotate this femur. She's going to bring that leg back behind her. The ankle is going to maintain a 90 degree angle to create a pivot point and that helps protect the ankle as well. And the opposite foot is touching the inside of the thigh. So ideally in this position, uh, your sits bones are going to be equally uh, seated to the ground. So this leg that goes through medial rotation is going to want to hike up depending on how tight your hip is. So this is huge medial rotation for that femur and then you're loading that pelvis so the sacrum and gravity and everybody's pushing down. And so we're trying to let that happen with your breath naturally. And so you could sit in this position for a minute or depending on what your therapist recommends and then do the other side. The therapist might recommend that he wants to do a little bit, he or she might want to do a little bit of work with the uh, opposite leg. So uh, what we're going to do is do the diva lift. So she's going to take this knee and she's going to try to lift it up off the ground a couple inches. She can get pretty far, six, seven inches if you can. And so maintaining that weight, trying to let those sits bones settle to the ground, she's really going to lift that. So we're really going to get into that hip and work it. Uh, that hip a lot. Good. Now, there might be uh, more that the therapist wants to do and engage more of the adductors as well. So then she's going to put a block or a small pillow, depending on what they want. Then she's going to go ahead and press down into the block and then relax and press down and relax. And those are diva presses. So you're going to repeat as your therapist has prescribed. And this is diva position with the option for presses or lifts.